So, there's this new AI model that's just popped up, kind of out of nowhere, and it is making some serious waves. We're talking about a real challenger here, something that could shake up the whole industry. So what's the deal? And look, this isn't just some rumor floating around on the internet. When the CEO of Microsoft, we're talking Satya Nadella, says something shook the AI leaders, you know it's a big deal. You gotta pay attention. That one quote right there, it tells you everything you need to know about how disruptive this could be. Okay, but let's be real. New AI models are popping up left and right these days, right? So we have to ask the big question. Is all this hype around DeepSeek actually justified? Or is this just another flash in the pan? Let's dig in and find out. All right, so to really get what's happening here, we need to look at two things. Where did this model even come from? And maybe more importantly, what can it actually do? So get this, this isn't some new thing from the usual suspects, you know, like Google or Meta. Nope. This model, DeepSeek AI R1, is the very first version from a Chinese company called Hasei. And that's the key right there. This is their debut, their first swing at bat, and it's already causing this much of a stir. Okay, so how do you even know if an AI is any good at coding? Well, the experts have these standardized tests, and one of the big ones is called Software Engineering Benchmarking, or SV Benchmarking for short. It's basically a report card for AI, a way to score them and see how they stack up against each other on programming tasks. Super important for a model like this. And here's the part that's just wild. According to those very same benchmarks, DeepSeek's first ever model is performing at the same level as OpenAI's absolute best model. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. A brand new company on their first try is claiming they're already on par with the king of the hill. That performance is absolutely crucial. But believe it or not, it's only half the story. Because the real jaw dropper is when you take that top tier performance and you pair it with a price that is just ridiculously game-changingly cheap. All right, first, a super quick explainer on how AI costs work. It all comes down to something called tokens. The easiest way to think about them is like pieces of words. Every single thing you type in and everything the AI spits back out gets measured in these tokens. And for developers building stuff with this AI, those tokens are what they pay for. Okay, so let's put some numbers to this. If you're a developer and you wanna use OpenAI's top model, it's gonna cost you about $7.50 for every million tokens. Now for that exact same amount of work, DeepSeek costs just 15 cents. Yeah, you heard that right. I mean, just look at that comparison. We're not talking about a 10% discount here. This is a complete and total seismic shift. It's an absolute game changer. Think about a small startup trying to build an AI product. This is the difference between their idea being possible and it being a financial impossibility. And it's not just cheaper to use. It was apparently way cheaper to build. The reported cost to train the entire DeepSeek model was just five and a half million dollars. That's it. It really makes you wonder, right? Why are other top models costing hundreds of millions of dollars to create? It suggests there might be a much more efficient way to build this stuff. But wait, there's more. The disruption doesn't just stop at performance and price. There's a third pillar to this whole thing, and it's a big one. DeepSeek is open source. So what does open source actually mean for you? Well, unlike a closed model like OpenAI's, you can literally download DeepSeek and run it on your own machine. This is a huge deal. First, your data stays completely private. It never leaves your computer. And second, if you're running it locally, guess what? All those API calls are totally free. This is massive for everyone from hobbyist developers to big companies who are serious about data security. Okay, we need to throw in a little reality check here though. Let's be fair. OpenAI's models have been battle-tested by millions and millions of people over a long time. They're proven. DeepSeek is the new kid on the block. So while the initial numbers look amazing, it still has a lot to prove out in the real world. It just needs more time in the oven, you know? So, hearing that it's open source probably has you thinking, hey, can I try this thing out myself? And the answer is absolutely yes. The good news is it's actually pretty easy. So let's do a quick walkthrough of how you can get this thing running on your own computer. And you might be surprised at how simple this is. It really just comes down to three main steps. First, you download a neat little tool called a llama. Second, you run a single command line in your terminal. And third, if you want, you can hook it up to a nice user interface so it feels more like ChatGPT. And this is the magic part. That's the command. Seriously, that's it. You just type OLMI run DeepSeek coder into your terminal and hit enter. The Olama tool does all the heavy lifting for you. 
It finds the model, downloads it, and gets it all set up. It's designed to be incredibly straightforward. Just one quick tip before you dive in, your computer's hardware is gonna make a big difference here. If you have a powerful graphics card, a GPU, you'll get super fast, snappy responses. If you're running on a regular CPU, it'll still work, but it might just be a little slower. So just something to keep in mind so you know what to expect. So let's zoom out for a second and look at the big picture. This isn't just about one company trying to beat another. A lot of experts in the AI field see this whole trend as a massive win. When it becomes cheaper and easier to build and run these powerful models, it means more smart people can get their hands on them. And that means we could start using AI to tackle some of humanity's biggest, toughest problems. So it really leaves us with this huge question, doesn't it? What we're looking at is a model with top-of-the-line performance at a tiny fraction of the cost that's also totally open for anyone to use. If this is the start of a trend, well, we could be on the brink of a massive shift in how AI is built, who gets to use it, and who it really benefits in the end. So will this kind of open, low-cost AI change everything? I guess we're all about to find out.